but it doesn't get, it gets used so much, it doesn't have any meaning, but I know that Raphael gives meaning to the word because Raphael has really been about the movement. Every time I go to an action, whether it's worker rights, affordable housing, immigrant rights, Raphael's been there, and it hasn't been that he's been there the past year because he's running for supervisor. He's been there because he's been doing this work for a long, long time. This is the kind of leadership that we need to have in San Francisco. This is the kind of leadership we need to have on the board. And Raphael's definitely the kind of person I want to have as a colleague uh, working with me and with Supervisor Campos and our other progressive colleagues on the board of supervisors. Uh, I think you will make a wonderful, thoughtful uh, leader, uh, one who's going to be caring about uh, so many different communities that are part of the, the fabric of San Francisco, and I'll uh, do whatever I can to help you get elected. I've been giving you donations, we'll continue, to, I'm going to max out on, on my campaign uh, contributions to your uh, campaign. And I would want to encourage people, if you haven't yet, if you can make a contribution here tonight, to, to please, please do that. It's going to make a big difference. Uh, because. Downtown is zeroed in with a target on this guy's back. They have uh, put they, they put together uh, a, a campaign, an independent expenditure campaign. It's a chamber of commerce. It's a building owners and managers association. It's UHW, CPMC. It's the biggest corporations who are funneling all this work to support candidates like Scott Weiner, who will do their bidding at City Hall. We need a candidate to do our bidding. Who's not gonna? Who's gonna represent us and our interests at City Hall? Raphael is that person. So I want to thank you. This uh, Wednesday, um, I'm sponsoring my, my first phone bank for Raphael at his headquarters, uh, starting at 5.30 this Wednesday. So I want to pack the phones, make sure that we don't have a single phone uh, that is empty in the office. So if you may have heard from that already from an email from me today, uh, but if you can commit to that as well, that would be great support for Raphael. We need to do everything we can to build a grassroots structure, to push him over the top. It's IDing voters, it's talking to people one on one to support his message and his candidacy. I hope you can join me in that on Wednesday. Thank you. Raphael, where's your headquarters in, in the event that people want to go and volunteer? We are at 2231 Market Street, which is market very close to Sanchez, between Sanchez and Noe. Para las personas que quieren ser voluntarias en la campaña, es la dirección de su oficina. So, how many days do we have left till the election? I think it's 40? 40, 40 days. So, again, you know, I don't want to repeat all the things that have been said. But I, I have to reiterate what, what Supervisor Avalos was saying, that this is a critical election because it will decide the future of the Board of Supervisors. It will decide whether or not we have a progressive majority on the Board of Supervisors. Lo que estaba diciendo el Supervisor Avalos es algo muy claro, que este distrito, lo que pase en este distrito, en el distrito 8, uh, decidirá el futuro de la mesa de supervisores de San Francisco. Sí o no tendremos una mayoría progresista en la mesa de supervisores. The reason why the three of us wanted to do this event is because we wanted to make it clear to the Latino community in District 8 that this election matters and that there is a difference among the major, the main candidates that are running for supervisor. We wanted to make it clear that the choice for the Latino community is not a difficult one. It's a clear choice, and Rafael Mandelman is that choice. And the reason that choice is clear is that if you look at issues like sanctuary, there is no question that Rafael is the only candidate that not only has been somewhat supportive, has been okay about it, but has actually been fighting for it. You know, when we fought for legislation to protect the rights of undocumented youth, the vote was 8-3. The reason we were able to get the legislation through was because we had the vote of the District 8 supervisor. If you look at the people that are running today, it's clear that with Rafael, he's the only one that we know for sure, for sure, he would have voted the right way on that vote. Estamos aquí para decirle a la comunidad latina que en el Distrito 8 la, la elección es muy clara. De los candidatos principales que están en ese distrito, solamente Rafael ha estado apoyando a la comunidad latina. Y les doy el ejemplo de la legislación que pasamos para proteger los derechos 
de los jóvenes indocumentados. Esa legislación pasó con ocho votos, que fue lo, el mínimo voto necesario para sobrepasar el veto del alcalde. Pasó porque el, el representante del Distrito 8 votó a favor de, él, de ella. Rafael es el único candidato que estamos seguros que hubiera votado por ella. Si fuera sido otro candidato que está ahorita a, a, a elección, no tenemos la seguridad de que hubiera votado de esa manera. So, it's a very clear choice. And the last thing that I would say is that why the Latino vote is so important is that there are 3,000, 3,000 Latino voters in District 8. For those of you who have won, who have run for supervisor, that is, the, you know, that is more than enough in terms of the margin of victory. Mm -hmm. 3,000 votes can really, really make a difference in that district. Es importante que sepamos que hay 3,000 votos latinos en el Distrito 8 y que esos votos sí pueden hacer la diferencia, porque la diferencia entre una campaña que gane y, y pierda puede ser de 1,500, 2,000 votos. Entonces, si nosotros podemos asegurarnos que el voto latino va a ser para él, estaremos seguros que él ganará. So, that's the mission. Between now and November 2nd, we have 40 days to make sure that we get our message to the 3,000 Latino voters in that district. So, please, we ask you not only to come here and donate money, that's important too, but we also ask you to come out and volunteer for Rafael, because not only do we need people to call you know, uh, all these voters, but we need bilingual people who call the Latino, the Spanish-speaking voters to say, this is why you need to vote for Rafael. Necesitamos voluntarios y necesitamos voluntarios latinos que hablen español. Hola, porque esos voluntarios latinos les van a poder explicar a los votantes latinos por qué Rafael es el candidato mejor para, para nosotros como comunidad. Así que luchemos, trabajemos, tenemos 40 días y yo sé que en 41 días de, después de hoy estaremos celebrando la victoria de Rafael. So, thank you very much. Una pregunta, una pregunta. So she's saying that there are young people who are interested in volunteering in your campaign. So how do how do we you know get their information? Where is there an email? How do we organize them to make sure that they come out? Uh, the, the email is uh, Rafael R A F A E L four the number four S U P E soup at gmail .com. I can write. I'm happy to write all the stuff for anyone. Anyone who signs up here will start getting. If you sign up at the door, you'll get calls. You'll get emails. But yes, I'm absolutely. You can also call my cell phone. And, and we also we have we have Pedro for monolingual Spanish. I mean. Someone should probably translate it. But we have, uh, we have people who, who, who speak Spanish fluently and, uh, and can help out. You can, right? Uh, uh, my Espanol is way bad. <laughs> um, I, I just, I wanna, I'm not going to talk for very long, but I, I, I want to thank Sunrise. Thank you, Sunrise.